Welcome each and every one of you to TWF. Tonight the championship will be contested. Vinny Massaro puts the championship of TWF on the line against the force of nature, Drake Frost. Also taking place this evening will be Lady Lindsay versus Christina Von Erie in singles competition. Can Lady Lindsay ride her wave of momentum, her recent success to victory? We will find out. But first, let me remind you, Live Pro Wrestling is coming to a town near you. Saturday, May 21st, Parkour Performing Arts Center, 941 Sterling Parkway in Lincoln, California. Doors at 6.30, showtime at 7. Be there live and in person for all the action of pro wrestling in Placer County. Placer County doesn't get too much live wrestling, and we are changing that. And then, back in Modesto at the Eagles Hall on June 4th, 126 Camellia Way, doors at 6, showtime at 7, as always, 15 for adults and $10 for kids, be there in the 209 in Modesto on June 4th, it's always a great time at the Eagles Hall. Then the live shows just keep on trucking. We're talking about 9th of July, Tracy Turmoil. It is a show that is at the Mountain House Bar and Grill in Tracy, California. 16784 West Grant Line Road. Be there. And then the 16th of July, VFW Hall. 580 Moffitt Boulevard in Manteca. Doors at 6, bell time at 7. We would like all of you to be there in Manteca. It's been a while. And then back to the Colonial Theater on August 6th. Summerfest Colonial Theater is the place to be for live pro wrestling. 3522 Stockton Boulevard. Doors at 630, bell time at 7. Amazing venue. Let's bring some people out. Well, this is the Eagles Hall in Modesto, California. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, hold on. We have Commissioner T. Mighty. Right. I You show up in time, I'll show or a tie. I didn't ask for your opinion. Black out here. You also didn't ask for my consent to come out here wearing that shit. However, here we would, are. Would you like my beads? Oh, no, never mind. Well, Commissioner T Money has called out Christian Black to start things here tonight in Modesto. And it looks like Christian's got his longtime friend Jay Paul to watch us back here this evening. We thank each and every one of you for watching. My name is Jake Sherman. I provide the play-by-play -play each and every week for many, many years here in TWF. You can see Christian Black can appreciate these people. Christian Black, respected by these people. I cannot say the same thing for our esteemed commissioner, T Money. Well, 
Well, word around the campfire is Commissioner T Money has been looking for an individual to beat down Christian Black, someone brand new to the scene. Oh boy. Look at this guy. There's your next victim. An unpredictable individual right there. Crazy Cajun, Jaya Jewel. Jaya Jimmy Jack Jewel is here in Modesto. He even gets into the ring in the most unorthodox fashion. The unpredictability oozes from this guy like alligators in the swamps of the bayou. I do not like the chances of Christian Black. He even enters the ring in unorthodox ways. Well, this is the opening contest here tonight on TWF. And Jaya Jewel, wasting no time whatsoever, goes after Christian Black. Jumps him as quickly as he can to start this thing. Well, he was paid a handsome sum by Commissioner T Money to beat down Christian Black. Real Mania is eminent. Real Mania is on the agenda of everyone, and we know it'll be Team. And he accidentally slugged that guy in the face. Hey, get some security, get some medical help out there. Come on. Wow, well, the referee's going to check on that guy at ringside. Well, Jaya Jewel wasted absolutely, positively, no time at all. Went after Christian Black. Is... And then, in the struggle, accidentally struck that guy in the head. And now Christian retaliates with a clothesline. Well, we all know at Real Mania, in a few short weeks on this television program, it will be Team Christian versus Team Team Money. It will be Career versus Commissioner Jock. And that is on the horizon. But as it stands at this moment in time... Wedgie! As it stands at this moment in time right now, Commissioner Team Money, big time right, has paid Jaya Jewel to beat down Christian. Wow! You can hear that all the way back in Lafayette, Louisiana. You can hear that in the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast. And Jaya Jewel. The screams, the echoes of the Eagles Hall here in Modesto, California. An amazing place. If you need an event in the 209 in the Modesto area, definitely give them a call. It's a great place. A former speakeasy from about 100 years ago. We love doing live wrestling here. Oh, what a pump kick. Only two, but nearly knocked his teeth into the fifth row. And Jaya Jewel caught Christian Black napping for just a split second with that crazy pump kick moments ago and now squeezing on the anatomy of the fan favorite. And now biting the skull. 
the unpredictability. Christian Black had no time to game plan. He didn't know he was facing this guy until he walked through the curtain, and that's exactly what T-Money wanted. Wow. Amazing bicycle style pump kick. Unable to keep Christian down, but change the complexion of this thing like a 13 year old boy. Going through puberty. Complexion completely gone. Jaya Jimmy Jack Jewel dominating the proceedings at this moment in time. And Christian can barely stay on his feet. Very hard into the corner. And Team Money. Come on. Referee's back is turned, and Team Money choking out Christian. Ridiculous display. And a good old fashioned right to the face. Team Money might be a very rich and powerful man. Good for him. Fine. Uh, foot's on the rope. T-Money is a very rich and powerful man. Fine, but do you have to rub it in all our faces every chance you get? Really? Is that what kind of a human being should be running this company? And the left leg being singled out by Jaya Jewel later on in this hour. Well, here's that, come on. Clear as day to everyone except the referee. Later on in this hour, you will see Christina Von Erie go one-on-one -on -one with Lady Lindsay. Also, TWF Championship to be contested. Drake Frost challenges. Nice guy Vinny Massaro, so don't go anywhere. And trying to rip off that left arm as Christian takes a tumble face first to the canvas. On Christian, there's a veteran's move of veteran's moves. He catches the referee's hand before it can come down for a three count. Didn't even have the strength to kick out, but used a little bit of uh, experience there to grab the hand before it came all the way down. This thing continues. Both men are technically at a vertical base right now, but Christian's in trouble. And Jaya tried to pull the wool, tried to pull the t-shirt over the face like a hockey fight. Paid the price though, Christian. Able to take back control. Running Lariat, done only like he can. And down goes Jaya Jewel. Now Jaya Jewel kicks out. Yowza. He's taken the heads off of many a competitor over the years with that thing. Christian has won every championship you can think of in this company. However, the last year of his career has been extremely personal with the commissioner. It hasn't been about titles, it's been about pride. Rams the shoulder into the stomach and Jaya Jewel gasping for air. Places him in a fireman's carry. I know it's coming. Death Valley driver, down he goes. And once again though, Jaya Jewel absorbs the big moves and finds a way to kick out. We know he's younger than Christian. Wow. Jaya Jewel is younger than Christian Black. Jaya Jewel has less miles on his body, less bumps on his bump card, if you will, and that could come into play in the latter stages of this match. Christian stomping on Jaya Jewel, letting him know he's still here. He might be limping, he might be hurting, but he's still here. Oh, what a unique crossbody as Jaya Jewel was laid across that bottom turnbuckle, squishes him like a bug on a windshield on Highway 99 through Modesto. And Jaya Jewel, he's down. Now the referee 
That's his boss talking to him. You're walking a fine line there. Are you trying to protect your job or are you trying to talk to the commissioner? Odd situation there. And Jay Paul doesn't like it one bit. He's out here to watch Christian's back. Watch his best friend's back. And Jaya Jewel seizes the opportunity. Hops on the opportunity. Plants him with a body slam. Jaya Jewel, I, I think in the melee, the referee was wiped out. Pops the hips and snaps him over with the suplex. And now Jaya Jewel, oh, trying to hyperextend, trying to break the shoulder. Look at this. Very unique submission there, almost a version of a triangle. And Christian Black can't move. He's stuck. Christian Black is absolutely stuck in the center of the ring, but the referee is wiped out on the far side there. The referee did not... T-Money rang that bell. The referee didn't call for the bell. T-Money ran over and rang the bell himself. That's not an official victory. No, 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 no. I call shenanigans times 10. Well, now being informed by the referee that this, this thing is still going, this thing is still official. That was not the end. This match will continue. And Christian leaps off the ropes and takes him down. Jaya Jewel arguing with the referee. They tried to pull a fast one on everyone, unsuccessfully at that, and now Christian is perched on the ropes. Frog splash! Christian wins it! Well, Jaya Jewel had a great showing here tonight. You have to give credit where credit is due. But in the end... I'll see you in Rio, Tony. Rio Mania. I'll see you there. In the end... The chicanery, the dirty under... The dirty underhanded tactics blew up in his face. I'll put my career on the line for your commissionership. You got it. So, bring it. Well, we got some, in the heat of the moment, we got some career negotiations going on here for the stipulation later on, but as it stands here tonight, the referee was wiped out. Jaya Jewel, very smart though, went after Christian, but there was no referee, no one to ring the bell, to call for the bell, any sort of, from what I understand, T Money ran over and rang the bell himself. It was not an official deal at all. We had someone else ring the bell. That was not an official victory. And now referee Isaac comes to, realizes he did not render any decision whatsoever. A frog splash later, Christian wins it. And now it's back to the drawing board for Commissioner T Money. However, his guy might have lost the match, but he definitely accomplished his goal of softening up Christian. And this crowd can appreciate the efforts of Christian Black, but did Team Money really accomplish what he wanted to? Was Christian beat down enough? Did he soften him up, leading to that big Rio Mania match in a few weeks? Here on this television show? Uh, more questions than answers. All I know is here in Modesto tonight, we've got an amazing show on tap for you. Christian Black able to outsmart Team Money and Jaya Jewel get the big W. Time to celebrate. We thank each and every one of you for watching what we do. 
and attending our live events in person, whether it's Modesto, Sacramento, Tracy, or any of the various towns that we try to entertain people. There is absolutely nothing like live pro wrestling. So much fun, so unique. What a unique experience. It's not quite going to a play. It's not quite going to a music concert. It's its own unique thing that we all love. Would you like to have a live pro wrestling experience? We can figure it out. Birthday parties, private parties, corporate events, and oh so much more. Bring the action to your town. Email us, Total Wrestling Federation at Hotmail.com. The Beach Hut Deli is the best place in all the 916 to watch AEW pay-per-views. We do it all the time. It's always a great time full of local pro wrestlers and pro wrestling fans. Their address is 2535 Fair Oaks Boulevard in Sacramento. The best sandwiches, beer, and much more in town. My two sons love to play the uh, full-size Jenga, the super-sized Jenga game throughout the pay-per-view, and you can too. The Move of the Moment brought to you by All Star Properties. All-Star Properties, if you need property management or anything related to that in the 209, they can help you out with that sort of deal. Great people, great experience. You can call them the old-fashioned way. Yeah, that's right. People sometimes still call. 209-522-8833 or look them up online, allstarproperties.org. CJ, Matt, question is strictly scientific. How far up your nose and your head is Team Money's butt? Because I gotta understand, how did you get a tag team title match in Tracy, California, when you ain't won a dang match in how long? Months, you can hold off your belt. Uh, so, I mean, if you want one, that's fine. We are equal opportunity ass kickers. But let's just be honest. You're stepping in the ring with the outlaw and the cowboy. All right? You want some? We're ready. Just uh, be ready, because uh, afterwards we're gonna go to the bar, have a few drinks, you know, get a little lit, and put our bar tab on your ass. Yes, sir. In Tracy, California, at the Mountain House Bar and Grill. The only mountains is gonna be the mountains of muscles we're flexing on the ladies. Telepath. It's more. It doesn't matter what day it is. We're gonna kick their fucking asses. Man, Justin Hayden, I'm gonna punch you right in the tripping heart. Then I'm gonna end you for good. Austin Anus, I'm gonna power slam you right through the map. The degenerates are going over, and we're gonna party all night at the Mountain House Bar and Grill. Well, you heard comments from both teams. Tag Team Championship on the line next week on this program. The American Degenerates Challenge, the Vigilance Committee. Talk about polar opposites. Talk about two teams that hate each other's guts. We're going to see what happens next week. And as for tonight, your main event is Vinny Massaro defending the TWF Championship against the force of nature, Drake Frost. That, my friends, will be a hard-hitting, big-time matchup for the biggest title we have here in TWF. And in mere moments, you will see Christina Von Erie take on Lady Lindsay. Can the all-American badass take down the patron saint of filth? I don't know. You'd better watch. 
Avoids the contact. Oh, and Vinny! Vinny Masaro! This position, we've seen this before! And here comes the world travel patron saint of filth, Christina Von Eri. Of course, led to the ring by TWF legend G Spot. There could not be a duo more full of themselves anywhere in this company. Yes, Christina Von Eri's accomplishments are great. They're monumental. She's been all over the world. Mexico, Japan, you name it. Impact Wrestling. We thought she would come back to TWF, come back to this area as a hero, as a conquering hero. But she chose to be full of herself. She chose to degrade everyone any chance she could get. And of course, G-Spot, as always, managing her business affairs. So full of herself. A ridiculous display by a very talented person, in my humble opinion. But we've seen the success recently of Lady Lindsay. We've seen her prevail in a battle royal in Stockton Arena. We've seen her success at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento, California. Can Lindsay ride all of that positive momentum to a victory over Christina Von Eri? These people would love to see Lindsay take down the very arrogant Christina Von Eri here in Modesto tonight. She's got the people on her side. Quite frankly, emotionally, she's got me on her side too. But the time for talk is almost through. Lindsay has to be 100% ready for this test.
Please! Yeah. I'm so working for here so we can get the hell out of this shithole! Please! <laughs> Well, if everyone in Modesto didn't already hate those two, they do now. Saying some things that no one should ever say about any town. Well, G-Spot, he's more there. For, he's there for more than moral encouragement. And now Christina Von Erie wants to get the hell out of Modesto as quick as she can. And she's going to start this thing in a hurry. Face first goes Lady Lindsay and Christina Von Erie showing the wrath of a woman who wants to get the hell out of this town as quickly as possible. Handful of hair. And unceremoniously chucks her to the outside by her hair. Come on. And Lindsay did not expect that. Lindsay still trying to get out of the blocks here and recover. And face first into the boot of Von Erie goes Lindsay's face. Referee being very lenient here. As Lindsay's face rams into Von Erie's boot and Lindsay might be concussed. Her eyes are glazed over. This is not a good start if your name is Lady Lindsay. And thrown to her face a second time by the patron saint of filth. And now pulling on her hair. Well, we saw Lady Lindsay win the big battle royal in front of thousands in the Stockton Arena around New Year's Eve. At the Stockton Heat game, very much a crowning achievement in her young career. Christina Von Erie was not there that night. But she's here tonight. And Lady Lindsay, we've seen her success recently. But Christina Von Erie could give a damn about Lindsay's success against other people, against other competitors, and in other environments. Christina Von Erie might be on another level when it comes to competition. And Lindsay, this is a huge test in her young career. Able to kick out though, showing some guts, showing some intestinal fortitude, despite the fact this match has been absolutely dominated by Christina Von Erie. Wow, and you can hear that all the way back in Sacramento, all the way back in Malibu, or wherever G-Spot resides. Floats over. Only a two count, and Lady Lindsay very nearly pulled out a victory there. Missed the clothesline. One more time, and Lady Lindsay evasive maneuvers and drops her on her face. Uh, despite taking some heavy punishment to start this thing, Lindsay has turned the tables. Right then and there, surprised Christina Von Erie and took her down. Well, there's a headbutt though by the patron saint of filth. Lindsay's offense didn't last long. Christina Von Erie has an answer for everything. She's been all over the world. She's faced all sorts of competitors. Lindsay improving with every in-ring effort. Wow, those are some shots. And clothesline in the corner. Now Lindsay needs to keep this going, needs to stay on it. Don't give Von Erie any time to recover. Oh, what a head scissors. Signature move right there by Lady Lindsay. Has brought her much success. Here we go, cover. Oh, despite the spectacular head scissors in the corner, unable to turn that into a win. Dumps her down. Christina Von Erie, much surprised by the fight, by the tenacity of Lady Lindsay. We got 47 angles here tonight to show you all the action. Just kidding, we have four. But we have four great angles to show you all the action. You're not gonna miss a damn thing. This is TWF Rugged. 
all our live events become this television show. Uh-oh, there it is. Oh, with the cradle and the shoulders do not stay down. Lindsay learning each and every day, learning with each and every experience in the ring. Oh, come on. Well, Christina Von Erie, hands across the throat, hands across the eyeballs. And that's a desperation move by Von Erie. And a shot in the corner. You think that Christina Von Erie wouldn't need to stoop that low, but that's what she did. And what a kick to the spine. Second time and Lindsay's hurt. Over and over again. Only two. Well, coming up next, the TWF Championship will be on the line. Vinny Massaro, the nice guy, defends the title against the force of nature, Drake Frost. We saw their epic three-way match with Big MF Matt Freeman a few weeks ago on this program. Now it's time to go one-on-one. -on -one. Now it's time to pay the piper, if you will. And Lindsay with that throw draped across the top rope. Christina Von Erie. It seems like every time Lindsay tries to come back, tries to mount offense, Christina Von Erie has an answer. Just too much experience. And the sickening thud of Von Erie's boot across Lindsay's back tells the story moments ago. As it stands right now, though, Lindsay is the stronger of the two. Lindsay is the more powerful of the two. But the experience advantage is just so much more on referee coming. Yeah, there you go. Referee Ray caught G-Spot in the act, trying to stick his nose where it doesn't belong, backing him off, heavily warning him. And both athletes now to a vertical base, but Lindsay's in trouble. And Von Erie muscles over her larger opponent. And Lindsay kicks out. Well, this is nitty gritty time. This is crunch time. How much does Lindsay have left in the gas tank? How much can she absorb and can she come back from a match that's been controlled by Christina Von Erie? I'd say about 80% of the time. Now, Lindsay's not going to give up. Oh, double A. Beautiful takedown there by the patron Saint of Phil. Rolls through with the jackknife cover. And Lindsay gets that left shoulder out of dodge. Christina Von Erie's been doing this a lot longer, has a lot more in her hard drive, if you will. But Lindsay's got more heart. Wow, leaping clothesline by Christina Von Erie. And once again, Lindsay goes down. Just when you think she is mounting some sort of comeback, something Von Erie always has an answer. And Lindsay squirming, trying to do everything she can to keep her shoulders off the canvas. Now there's a reversal. Oh, and Lindsay very nearly pulled a victory out of the jaws of defeat. And Von Erie looks frustrated. Shoulders down once again, but you can see the frustration. There's that very nice leaping clothesline from moments ago. You can see the frustration painted on the face of Christina Von Erie. She's beat many, many, many people around the world with less than what she's done tonight. Lady Lindsay always comes back. Lady Lindsay, tougher than a $2 steak at a truck stop. And Von Erie is frustrated. She's walking her around the ring by her hair in frustration. She can't seem to put her away regardless of what she does. And Von Eri here, look at this. This is this has just turned into a glorified fight. And Von Eri chucks her down by her hair. The past several minutes have been nothing but frustration for Christina Von Eri. She has thrown everything but the kitchen sink at Lady Lindsay and has been unable to keep her down. Lindsay could be outmatched experience-wise, but Lindsay will not give up. She will not tap out. You're gonna have to rip her in half to get her to tap out. 
And now Lindsay crawling for that bottom row. I said earlier, I alluded to it earlier, she's the stronger of the two individuals. And that could come into play when it comes to situations like this. Grabs that bottom row. She's taller and she's stronger than Von Eri. Stunner! Lady Lindsay hits the stunner! This thing's over! Oh! Pretty damn close, but not quite a three count. Jacks the jaw of the Patriot. Jacks the jaw of the patron saint of filth, but unable to get the three. Not quite happening in that situation. I think it was the frustration of Von Erie that made her let her guard down for a split second. And now both athletes are trading potatoes. Both athletes are going at it. Both athletes swinging for the fences. Who can hit that knockout blow? Who can hit that big move and get the win? Wow. In the corner she goes, Lady Lindsay. Clothesline in the corner. Squishes Von Erie, and Von Erie's not moving. This could be the opening that Lindsay needs. A Lindsay with 10 punches in the corner, softening up Von Erie for something big, something powerful. Oh, here's a cover. Rolls her up, but not a three. Both athletes are sucking air. Both athletes have seen their share of punishment. There's that power advantage right there. Throws her very hard into that corner. Oh, she missed. Missed again. And now Von Erie is on the outside. In the late stages of this matchup, Von Erie needs a moment to breathe, needs a moment to talk things over with her management, if you will, with her business manager, G-Spot, who does a lot more than that, wants to just talk about things. Meanwhile, Lindsay, oh, a moment of indecision for Lady Lindsay leads to her being pushed onto the apron, tailbone first. only a two count you can tell the frustration the unability the inability to put away lady lindsay is definitely eating away at christina von Erie. she can't believe the toughness she can't believe the fight that's in lady lindsay von Erie might be more skilled at this juncture in her career in her career but lady lindsay has so much heart so much determination that it's frustrating Christina Von Erie. We got a packed house here in Modesto. We will be back at this venue on June 4th, 2022. So make sure you join us at the Eagles Hall in Modesto. Meanwhile, Von Erie gets shoved off the apron. Oh, all the cross body she can muster. Oh, shoulders were down, but could not complete the three count. And now Von Erie's in trouble. Lady Lindsay keeping her on her toes. Lady Lindsay over and over again. And Von Erie running for cover. Oh, Lindsay leaped off that second row moments ago, but unable to keep Von Erie down for a three and puts her down. And with how much punishment both these athletes have endured, 
That's a half crab cinched on by the patron Saint of Filth. Reversal by the stronger Lady Lindsay. And still, both athletes have shown me a world, a world of toughness in this matchup. They might be hurt. They've been out there a long time, expending energy and doing everything they can to gain success. Oh, wait a second, come on! Just as I'm singing both athletes' praises, G-Spot grabs the ankle of Lady Lindsay, dumps her on her face, away from the referee. Oh, come on! Graveyard smash! And Von Erie takes it here this evening. In a very, very evenly contested matchup and with both athletes had a chance to win it. Both athletes, it was right there in front of their faces. Both athletes had a chance to win. It was the untimely interference of G-Spot that proved to be a difference maker here tonight in Modesto. Christina Von Erie wins again. And it's time to go to Denny's and celebrate. Well, dare I say, Lady Lindsay could have won this thing. Lady Lindsay easily could have won this thing. But G-Spot grabs the ankle. A graveyard smash. A graveyard smash later. Three count. In the end, Lady Lindsay was outdone by Christina Von Erie at no fault of her own. Showed these people, showed everyone in YouTube land, showed everyone with eyeballs how much heart and guts and tenacity that she has. Great effort. Oh, do you like the live pro wrestling? Of course you do. May 21st, Parkour Performing Arts Center, 941 Sterling Parkway in Lincoln, California. Doors at 630. The show starts at 7. Placer County gets live pro wrestling. We're trying to take it everywhere in our area so people can enjoy the experience that is live professional wrestling. And then we're back in Modesto at the Eagles Hall. We're calling it Modesto Mayhem. 126 Camellia Way, Modesto, California. Doors at 6, showtime at 7. $15 for adults and $10 for kids. We always pack the place in Modesto. Great environment to catch a live pro wrestling show. Then July is a very, very busy month. July 9th, 2022, Mountain House Barn Grill, 16784 West Grantline Road in Tracy, California. Doors at 6, bell time at 7, 15 for adults and 10 for kids. Be there live and in person. And then Manteca, the 16th of July at the VFW Hall, 580 Moffat Boulevard. Doors at 6, bell time at 7. You should be there in Manteca. It's been a while since that town got to experience TWF. And then it all leads to August 6, 2022, Summerfest Live Pro Wrestling at our greatest venue, the Colonial Theater, 3522 Stockton Boulevard in Sacramento. Be there. Well, this is Modesto, California. This is the Eagles Hall. The parking lot is packed. Cars are packed all up and down the street for some TWF action. You picked a great night to watch what we do, and we have a championship match that is on tap. If you want to have an event, some sort of quinceanera or wedding reception or whatever, the Eagles Hall in Modesto makes a great place to do it. Now he's measuring him. Oh, he sidesteps the contact. Oh, what a running lariat. Down goes Big MF. 
Snoring elbow! Vinny Massaro just outsmarted everyone. If you'd like to become a pro wrestler, you can get trained by Mr. Ego Tony Vargas at the 209 Pro Wrestling Academy. Email them at nlpwoffice at gmail.com. champion main event Michael Sean is extremely confident in his abilities main event Michael Sean extremely extremely cocky in his in-ring skills but he battles Lady Lindsay There might not be a more popular athlete with the people, with the fans, with the paying customers than Lady Lindsay. She has earned the respect and the admiration of many over the past several years here in TWF. Next week on this program, Lady Lindsay is going to try to win the television championship. Lady Lindsay versus main event Michael Sean for the TV title of TWF. So you have got to watch what we do next week on this program. When I landed in jail, belonging to a union saved me 20% at All Pro Bail Bonds. When my buddy called me to bail him out, I went to All Pro Bail Bonds. They give the military a 20% discount. I needed my husband home with us, but I didn't have the money to get him out. That's why I went to All Pro Bail Bonds, because they let me make payments. You never know when you'll need a pro. Call All Pro Bail Bonds, offering affordable payment plans plus military and union discounts. ¿Alguien ha sido arrestado? Llame sin compromiso. Nosotros le ayudaremos. Ofrecemos pagos de acuerdo a su presupuesto. No se preocupe más. Nuestros agentes son amables y profesionales. Llame a un experto. Llame a All Pro Bail Bonds. Like us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash the TWF for all of the information about what's going on in our world. You should bring a few extra dollars to all our live events to buy a few things off our friends from Zombie Prevention Company. They have a variety of products for sale at all live events, including board games, replica weapons, CBD products, and oh so much more. My son Leo always makes it a point to buy something, an action figure, a PlayStation pen pad playset, and much more.
Do you have a small business that needs a little help out, needs a little push? We are a small business that likes to help out local small businesses. We can figure something out, whether it's advertising on the shows, the TV shows, or whatever. Our email is TotalWrestlingFederation at Hotmail.com, or you can text us at 916-317-9999. We have an advertising solution for just about anyone for wrestling. We'd like to thank Indy Handshake for some of the video you see on the screen each and every week here at TWF Rugged. They have an amazing podcast, an amazing YouTube page with lots of history about Northern California wrestling. Next week on this program, the Vigilance Committee defends the tag team titles of TWF against the American Degenerates. Can the Degenerates take out the dominant Cowboys? You will find out on this program next week. Also next week, television title on the line. Main event, Michael Sean takes on Lady Lindsay. She earned this opportunity with a battle royal victory at Stockton Arena on New Year's Eve. Can she win it for the people for herself? And then our main event of this program is in mere moments. Vinny Massaro, the nice guy, defends the TWF championship against the force of nature, Drake Frost. My goodness, hard-hitting, crazy main event in moments. Well, it was last month on this program that this man right here had the title one. He had it in his grasp. Maybe the most intense competitor in all of TWF. The most explosive offense from that hoss of a man. That, my friends, is the force of nature, Drake Frost. And could tonight be the night he wins the title of this company? We are in Modesto. It is packed to the gills. It is main event time here in TWF land. So intense, so powerful, all the tools necessary to be the champion of this company, but Vinny Massaro's got something to say about that. How you doing? Hey! Over two decades of experience, Vinny Massaro last month on this program captured the championship of TWF for the second time. He has also been to Japan, been to Mexico, been all over the world, been on nationally televised pro wrestling television shows like Lucha Underground. Vinny Massaro represents this company as the champion for a reason. He found a way to win it at a huge show at the Colonial Theater in Sacramento. That snoring elbow took Drake Frost out of the equation and he pinned Big MF Matt Freeman. He never binned Drake Frost, and Drake Frost knows that. Could he have a psychological advantage? I don't know. Over the past two plus decades, he has faced just about everyone who's anyone in pro wrestling. But Drake Frost, unlike any other competitor, can Vinny get the job done? The following contest is for the TWF Championship, and it is scheduled for the fall. Introducing first your challenger, fighting out of the Booty Con Dojo. Please give it up for the force of nature, Drake Frost. And his opponent, fighting out of the Jabonai, he is your current 
reigning and defending TWF champion. Please give it up for the nice guy, Billy Massaro! Well, these two have met before in a TWF ring. They had a knockdown drag out fight in Manteca, California last year. However, on this evening, the stakes are much, much higher. On this evening, it is for the biggest title we have here in this company. Oh, very racist. Very racist. Oh, Vinny's always got something to say to everyone in the crowd. Vinny, the more cerebral of the two when it comes to his in-ring strategies. And Drake Frost, the more explosive, the more emotional of the two when it comes to his in-ring his in-ring choices, his in-ring moves. Bigger and stronger, of course. A bit of a stalemate right there. You know, Vinny's going to take his time. He is not paid by the hour. Drake Frost, however, wants to try to end this thing quick with big explosive offense. That's what he does. Massaro now with the waist lock. Drake Frost, he can wrestle in that squared circle. Don't let the size fool you. Grabs the left arm nicely from the nice guy. And Vinny able to get his way out of it into the hammer lock. Don't want to make any big mistakes. The title is on the line. You don't want to make anything that will put yourself in a compromising position to get pinned early on in this thing. Feeling each other out. It's for the title. It's the main event. And Vinny getting out of it despite the leverage disadvantage. Top wrist lock. And now the headlock on the much bigger and stronger Drake Frost, like trying to control some sort of bull. And that might have been a mistake. Vinny Massaro runs into a brick wall. Vinny Massaro runs into Drake. Unsuccessful a second time. It's time to rethink what you're up to, Vinny Massaro. And Drake Frost staring a hole through Vinny Massaro. He is laser focused on winning the title here this evening. Oh, and he turned his head for a split second. Vinny stomped on his foot and now leveling with rights. And down goes the defending champion. Despite the fast start, Drake Frost had an answer and that was his size. There might not be an athlete that utilizes the size advantage he has better than anyone than Drake Frost. Second time into the turnbuckles, Vinny's going for a ride. That's three of the four corners. Wow. And all four corners of this ring have been represented by the face of the champion. Well, there's a quick cover now by the challenger, Drake Frost. And right there. That was the turning point right there when Vinny Massaro hit that brick wall, hit that Haas, took a trip to Haas Island. Both athletes now, vertical base. Oh, and Vinny is second guessing. Vinny does not want to run into that brick wall again. Vinny is on the outside and Vinny is going to rethink things. Whatever strategy he had when this thing started has been thrown completely out the window by the power of Drake Frost. Wow, and you can hear that shot all the way back in Sicily. What a right hand by the challenger. Second time and Vinny's on rubber legs. You can't win the title out there, but you can definitely do some damage. Oh. And referee choosing to let him fight on the outside. Vinny retaliates. 
several times with that sign into the face of Drake Frost. Wow. And Drake Frost had this thing well at hand until Vinnie Massaro got his hands on that sign brought by some sort of fan. JYD headbutt by the challenger. One more big time right, and these guys are fighting all over the place. I remember that match back last year in Manteca, the same thing happened. I love his intensity. Uh-oh, and Drake Frost, the left leg was exposed. Oh, Vinny Massaro goes after the left knee. The left leg was exposed as Drake Frost stepped into the ring and Vinny Massaro, like a shark smelling bloody water, went after the left leg and knee area of the challenger. And Vinny Massaro, like a surgeon, is going after the left leg. Right there. Leg was exposed, and Vinny knew it. You can see the knee, awkward position. Might have hyperextended the knee or bent it to the side. That could be an ACL issue. And the defending champion took that sign away, threw it under the ring so Drake can't use it. And Drake Frost screams in pain as the champion goes after his leg again. Oh! The leg and knee is busted. Vinny Massaro. Vinny Massaro might have been on his way to losing the championship, but Drake Frost stepped in the ring, left his leg exposed two or three minutes ago, and this has been a completely different match since Vinny Massaro took advantage of that. Drake Frost can barely stand. Drake Frost can barely move. Oh my goodness, right on the kneecap. And Drake Frost clutching his left knee in pain. The power advantage of Frost was the difference maker early, but it was the cerebral abilities, thinking man's wrestler that Vinny Massaro is, that's been the difference since. And Drake Frost, all that power means nothing if you can't stand on your own two feet. Offensive onslaught continues by the defending champion and the challenger in extreme disadvantage, extreme pain. Can Drake Frost fight through all this pain and win a title? At the moment, the answer is no. At the moment, he can't even stand up. And Vinny Massaro. We thought the title was as good as gone, but we were sadly mistaken. Now look at this. Drake Frost is going to fight back. You know his knee has got to be throbbing, but Vinny Massaro rakes the eyes and gets the advantage back. And Drake now needs the assistance of the ropes just to stand up. Wow, you can call it a leg lace takedown, you can call it a dragon screw leg whip, but it's pain and suffering for the challenger. And now, Vinny Massaro. Cinches on a figure four leg lock. If Drake Frost taps, this thing is over. I don't know, is it time to fight another day? Is it live to fight another day? Or is it fight, fight, fight for the title? And Drake Frost, shoulders were down. Shoulders were down for two seconds, and now he's got the top rope. He's got the bottom rope. Drake Frost finds a way to grab that bottom rope, but has the damage already been done to his left leg. Extremely painful. Most wrestlers might have given up by now. Most competitors might have called it a day and said, you know what? You got me, you got my knee. But Drake Frost continues to fight. Drake Frost wants more than anything to leave Modesto as the TWF champion.
Power Slam! Power Slam by the challenger, and Drake Frost just bought himself a little bit of time. Drake Frost needs to get some air in those lungs, needs to get some blood flowing, and that already injured left knee needs to get to a vertical base and hit something big. Power Slam moments ago, out of nowhere, by the challenger. On the far side of the ring, defending champion Vinny Massaro, trying to regain his wits. Retaliation. Many who were in the building the night Vinny won the title said Drake Frost was the best wrestler in that match. Many in the building said Drake Frost got robbed out of the championship. And now it might be time to redeem himself to the TWF faithful. And crushes the defending champion in the corner. There's that power slam one more time. And now, despite hobbling on one leg, Drake Frost, Drake Frost. One more time in the corner, and Vinny is hurt. And he hits that running lariat. This thing is over. Crushes him in the corner for a third time, and Vinny Massaro trying to get some distance between himself. There's that twisting slam. Twisting black hole slam by the challenger. Pin that man. Pin that man. Collective gasp by the people in attendance. close within inches of becoming the champion of this company drake frost just stuck Vinny massaro through the damn mat but unable to get three unable to win the title and both men are up if he hits that running lariat this thing is over oh come on cheap shot by the champion And a shot to the injured leg. And once again, Vinny Massaro going after the injured left knee of the challenger. Drake Frost has got nowhere to go. Stuck in the center of the ring. We know he's injured. We know he's in pain. And Finney, relentless, relentless going after the left knee. Damn it, it's over. Vinny is still the champion of TWF. Oh, wait a second. That's Mr. Ego, Tony Vargas. Tony Vargas is here to reign on the parade of the champion. He's here to spoil the victory party. While Vinny Massaro is still the champion of TWF, Vinny Massaro has successfully defended the title with a victory. But Tony Vargas hops in the ring and gets in the face of Vinny Massaro. He went after the left leg of Drake Frost, the left knee of Drake Frost, and was able, through the ups and the downs, get a victory by going after his knee time after time again. A 
a cheap shot. And Vinny Massaro is still the champion of TWF here in Modesto. What a main event. What a hard-hitting main event here this week on this program. The Tony Vargas has let everyone know he wants Vinny Massaro. And we've got to hope that Drake Frost's left knee will recover from that punishment from that man right there. Thank you so much for watching what we do. It is truly a pleasure to bring you live pro wrestling in towns all over and on YouTube.